my name is Lise Morton. I am the Director of Low and Intermediate Level Waste Operations at the Western Waste Management Facility. We do a very good job here at the Western Waste Management Facility in terms of safely managing the waste that we currently receive and that we have in storage, but that is interim storage. That is not a solution. The solution is for disposal in a properly engineered facility with very good geology that contains the waste for future generations. A deep geologic repository is an underground rock vault where waste is stored. Within a geologic formation that has been shown to be stable and predictable over geologic periods of time. There have been other options considered for the disposal of radioactive waste, such as shooting the waste to space, melting it into Antarctic ice or seabed disposal. But internationally, several national programs came up with the conclusion that deep geological disposal is the method of choice. Right now we're located at the proposed location for the DGR project. The distance between the repository and Lake Huron is slightly more than one kilometer, which might appear a limited distance at first sight. However, the repository is capped by a 200 meter thick layer of shales which have very good isolation properties and separate the repository from whatever is happening above this layer. What this means is, is that particle movement through the rock surrounding the DGR would be very slow and that the rock is strong and well suited for making the DGR openings. The understanding and knowledge of the Bruce site for the purposes of implementing the DGR is based on multiple lines of reasoning. We've used the coring, laboratory tests, and we've used that also in conjunction with numerical modeling. And it, it is these three components together that have provided us with the assurance and confidence that these bedrock formations are extremely well suited to contain and isolate the waste for tens of thousands of years. The plant's repository depth at the Bruce site is 680 meters, which is more than in most European programs. Let us take Sweden and Finland as examples. Repositories for low-level waste exist in those countries at substantially shallower levels. Also, they are located in granitic rocks, which are less efficient to limit the transport of radionuclides from the repository to the surface. The consensus amongst these geoscientists is that this site is exceptional. It compares very well to current and modern sites being looked at internationally. The site, through this multiple lines of reasoning approach, is a very good place to ensure it causes no harm long into the future.